him that too often because it's just really tasty and fattening it doesn't really provide any real nutritional value some of the seeds do but most of it is just for taste I don't know where Cooper is I think he's under the dining room table but you guys already know what I'm doing and that is washing the dishes the never-ending uh, chore when you do not have a dishwasher so I uh, most of you know that watch my channel that I um, usually watch like videos or Netflix while I'm watching um, while I'm watching while I'm washing the dishes or cleaning the kitchen or making dinner oh there's Cooper he's under the dining room table um, so what happened was I bought these headphones that you're looking at because a lot of times like I would have to hook up like the portable speakers to um to my ipad or my phone this is what's in my my um playlist i'm gonna have to talk about that in a minute but i'll have to hook up the speakers to the ipad or iphone plug it in it would just be like a bunch of wires running over the sink and um sometimes like my husband would get distracted by whatever I was listening to like if he was like in the office area doing something and he would be like can't you put on headphones and for me to put on like headphones with the wire try to wash the dishes try to clean the counters like that was not happening so I went out searching for a pair of wireless headphones and I found these and I think I might do a giveaway for these I always like to try stuff um, before I give something away so I know like the quality and how good it is whatever and these were like $27 I believe but they are awesome and they connect through Bluetooth and I have them connected automatically to my iPhone and my iPad so whenever I turn it on if this is on it automatically picks it up I don't have to do anything I could literally go all the way downstairs to the basement and I can still hear what's playing on my iPhone or iPad stop it which is great because you know like sometimes like you know you're multitasking you're doing like more than one thing at a time you don't want to be hooked to your iPad or iPhone whatever you're watching whatever you're watching um, at the time you may have to walk away go to the bathroom you don't want to miss anything but if you have wireless headphones you still can hear what's going on so I love these I might be doing a giveaway I'm not sure um, I filmed three videos last night actually um, Look what Cooper did. He turned the whole bowl of seeds over on the floor. Who? Who's gonna clean that up? You? You gonna get a broom? Look at him. Look at him. Like they think that that's fun. Look, 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 look. does this in his cage too. My camera kind of got cut off. I don't know what I was saying but this camera I've dropped it 15 million times. It's the little Nikon mini and um, it cuts off when it wants. It doesn't play sound back but what else. I was gonna say, I have to make sure I still record it. I was gonna say that I had wanted to talk about um, my subscriptions and when uh, I had actually shot a video a while back when I was in my old apartment and um, I was talking about uh, joining networks because I had so many networks asking me to join their network but I had no idea like what was a better network, who paid the most money, what was the criteria, blah, 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 blah. And I had shot a video about it, and I don't know what happened to the footage. Like, I couldn't find it. I have, like, I record off of everything, my iPhone, iPad, and at the time, three different cameras. So God only knows what happened to that footage. But it 
I don't know. I never, I never loaded it up because I don't know what happened to it. But anyway, so um, eventually I ended up going with Style Hall. They offered like the best contract, so to speak. And although I was getting paid through AdSense, it wasn't really like a big you know what I mean like a big deal so style holes offer which I can't discuss what the numbers are because that's against contract policy but um what they were offering was way better well so I thought but um so you know I accepted their offer or whatever did the paperwork yada 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 whatever so um Honestly, like you guys know, like I film when I can, I edit when I can, I upload when I can. I'm not consistent on here. I, um, you know, feel bad about that. Um, I, <laughs> it takes me like a few weeks to answer comments, things like that, whatever. So I kind of know that, you know, I'm not an active person on my channel, so I can't really expect too much, right? But I freaking, since my channel's been linked with them I feel like the subscriptions that I have I don't see the only subscriptions that really pop up it's like 15 of them are usually style hall partner channels and I'm like why am I only seeing like the channels that are partnered with style hall like I'm subscribed to so many different people you know and I have to literally go into the, the person's channel to um to see if they made videos like my subscriptions is not what it used to be like it's not normal I have to literally go looking for people's videos and that shit is pissing me off like I don't know if it has anything to do with style but I know ever since I partnered with them there's like issues like I don't see my subscriptions and it's like I'm getting less views now that I'm a partner than when I wasn't a partner so you know it's like come on now like you join these networks like I joined not really expecting too much honestly because I don't do too much like that's not you know I don't really do a bunch of shit on my channel but at the same time it's like how am I getting less views now than when I didn't have a network and honestly I'm putting out the same videos meaning like the um it used to take me a while to output videos before so it's the same shit it's not like I really changed so I don't know I don't know I don't know I just you know we really don't have no control over the damn internet anyway. Like, they really do what they want to do. They, you think you have control, but you really don't. So, yeah, I'm a little pissed off about that because I miss a lot of people's videos. And they, the shits don't pop up in my subscriptions. Like, I be having, like, ten videos. And then the rest of the videos are, like, recommended videos. See, like, now I have to go... To my actual subscriptions when if, if I click here where it says my subscriptions I don't know why this camera's not focusing oh maybe because I've dropped it 50 million times but where it says my subscriptions there's literally like I don't know 15 videos that's it and most of them are recommended videos not even actual videos um that i'm of people that i'm subscribed to so i have to go to my subscriptions and look and see uh down the actual list which one of my you know um subscriptions have uploaded new new videos it's it's annoying we got sandy let me see what sandy put out lately all right, guys, I'm about to, oh, I, I did this video too uh, yesterday, my opinion about this damn anaconda nonsense, <laughs> but, um, oh, that's the last video she did. Okay, I saw that one, but, um, yeah, so, see, like, this camera used to focus. Oh, somebody liked my Instagram picture. Um, yeah, this camera... I, I really should have got a case for it but I'm gonna probably need a different vlog camera because this one is not not doing what it's supposed to do also I am about to um, film a quick video announcing the winner to my um, Caribbean Joe face cream 
that I love so much. Oh gosh, here goes Cooper flying through the house. Something must have startled him, but yeah, I'm about to uh, just shoot a quick video just announcing the winners to that so I can get that out. I really meant to have it done yesterday, but I ended up doing some other videos and they took longer than I thought. So, oh, because all of my stuff was dead. My camera was dead, my iPod was dead, my other camera was dead, so I had to like charge up everything. But yeah, I'm about to do that right now. Hey peeps, the girl is home preparing dinner. Um, burritos tonight I'm making with turkey. Um, I'm just getting home. Very late, y'all know I'm tired, right? Yeah, man. I'm watching YouTube. Nope, I think that's it. That's all I got. That's Chrissy Clark. Hey, Chrissy. So the next thing that I got are some wet She's showing a hole. I did find three of the new um, wet and wild palettes. I couldn't find the other one or the other one. What else did I want to talk about today? There was so many things I had to talk about and I like totally forgot. I have like three, four, four videos that I need to do this weekend. Don't know if I'm going to get to them because I have stuff to do these, this weekend. I'm going to really try to do it, do them when I come home tomorrow or like the weekend really gets started because... I really want to get them done ASAP, so I'm hoping to do that. So today is September 11th. Um, mostly everybody knows today is a um, a very emotional day for a lot of people, um, especially people that are from New York and may have been affected. Uh, by the tragedy of the Twin Towers being hit and the Pentagon being hit. Very, very crazy day. This morning, bright and early, uh, my job held like a little memorial, you know, in front of our building. And uh, they lowered the flag and in respect to those who lost their lives and the respect for their families and things like that. Um, when this happened, I was 21, I believe, I was 21, and um, I was in college, I was still in college, and I remember that day, I was home, and all of a sudden, I saw it on the news, like, a plane had crashed into one of the towers, the Twin Towers in New York, and, you know, I just thought automatically that maybe a, a plane had lost their way or you know had been misguided by air traffic control or something like that no way was I thinking terrorist nor did I think anybody else was thinking terrorist and then like shortly after when another plane hit and you know all chaos all hell broke loose and then they were saying it was terrorism I just remember being glued to the TV and at the time my husband was working in uh, we weren't married then, but we were together and we were living together and he was working in the city and I could not get a hold of him like all the phones were busy You couldn't everybody's phone was busy because everybody was trying to call their loved ones their family members Especially if you worked in Manhattan or worked in that building that vicinity. It was just crazy I didn't hear from him really until later on that night and he could not even get home because everything in New York was shut down and it was just it was just a very emotional day I actually have a journal um, if I find it I'll put some clips in that I wrote in you know about the day and there were so many articles and pictures and the in the papers of like people jumping out of the building you know because the buildings were on fire and it was no way for the fire department to get to them like people were literally like committing suicide because they didn't want to burn up. It was so hard to watch and you know see that happen. I didn't know anybody personally that had died in 
in 9-11, um, but a lot of my family members had friends um, who was working down in the city or whose kids were down in the city and they died. It's a horrible, horrible thing. So, you know, I'm just going to say rest in peace to everybody who lost their life for that nonsense. I mean, I have another theory about it as well, but it's kind of inappropriate to talk about it. But nonetheless, a lot of people lost their lives that day, and that that is just ridiculous. And, you know, my heart goes out to their families and, you know, their loved ones. On a lighter note, I'm freaking pissed off because today, every day, I'm in freaking Target or Walmart or Nordstrom's or Sephora somewhere. So today I went to, not today, yesterday I went to Target and I was actually looking for <coughs> some full lipsticks. Although I think I have a lot of like dark shades of lipsticks but that's, that's the one thing that I will continuously buy even though I have tons and tons of it is lips, lip products, lip gloss, lip liners lipstick i will continue to buy um the same colors <laughs> just because like you know that's what i like but um what the hell is going on, on my phone this is dumb. hold on y'all yeah. listening to pandora i hate when like songs get like stuck so anyway so i went and i bought um I went and bought one of the, the, um, one of the Revlon pencils, lip butter, was it, is that all they call, no, the, the, um, matte lip balms that look like crayons, so I have three, four, four colors, um, two matte lip balm, two matte ones, and two of the high, high gloss shines, and I really like them, they're really, really good, and I love the way they go on and everything, so I be trying to pick up different colors, because I really like them, so I went today, and I picked up this beautiful, like, peachy color, and something just told me, because normally I don't do this, alright, what is going on? Did they just cut me off? Like, am I, what, what's going on? What's the medical? So hubby buys this knife set for me to cut like fruits and vegetables because the ones that I have aren't that good. So these are more like professional grade. But why in the hell? I got one out. This this one took me like 15 minutes. Why in the hell? They have like these perforated sections, right? For you to pop it out. It is not that easy. Like this one like, took me like 15 minutes to get out. I'm trying to get this big one out because I want to cut a pineapple. And I'm having a very difficult time. So what is this? Pure Komachi HD. You, need, you guys need to work on your packaging and, you know, I mean, I know people steal shit, but this is way too difficult to get out the package. My poor manicure is all chipped up now. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I finally got the damn knife out the package. This shit is the bomb, too. Hold on, let me try to cut it while holding the camera. It's pretty... Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I ain't gonna be able to cut it and show you. Let's see. I'm gonna hold the camera like this. So you can't see. I'm gonna cut my damn finger off. I'm trying to show you. Uh oh. This pineapple has been sitting here because neither one of us wanted to cut it. <laughs> but look how good it um it slices pineapple I think it's made for watermelons but I was like I'm gonna use this to cut this damn pineapple because I've been getting a lot of um fruit flies and it's because of this damn pineapple so 
I wanted to cut it before it goes bad as well as so um, the damn fruit flies are away. So for the 30, we have went shopping. We went out shopping earlier. We're about to go out shopping again to get a few more things. And then we're going to a film festival. And then I'm coming home and making dinner and then work is tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to remember to film because when we're out, I totally forget. And I'm about to make waffles. Hey Tubies, we're off to uh, Marshalls and Home Goods. Sorry, we're listening to 50s music. Um, I'm about to put this on. I love these NYX butter glosses. This one is in raspberry tart. I'll show you guys later what I'll do.